Greetings, dear friends. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. As we connect from all around the world, forming our subjective focus within the heart of our group and within the heart of the new group of all servers, we welcome each other with light and love. And we form our focused intention of the will to good as we serve humanity through our meditation. And we continue our work with this circle through the great intention and great thought form of peace. And um, I invite now Uta to welcome us and to lead in our work. Thank you, Alexander. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our monthly Jerusalem meditation, City of Peace, Working with Peace. We join forces to support subjectively Jerusalem and the whole planet. We are in the sign of Scorpio. It's one day before the new moon with the solar eclipse. So it's a point of very high tension. And it has the potential both to, to lead to an explosion and also to a breakthrough. And as always, the outcome depends on our alignment. As a world group, as the world disciple, it's on us to stand steady, to be a peace commanding presence on our planet. <clears throat> And it's our telepathic unity, this subjective cohesion, and our united intent, which can hold this planetary tension and direct it towards a breakthrough. When we are, as a world group, in a state of telepathic collectedness and centeredness, we have a 360 degrees awareness. It seems to be a seventh ray capacity that we are developing, stretching our consciousness to hold an ever wider spectrum from the highest to the lowest and also horizontally more and more of a planetary perspective. So our field of awareness is growing and with it our field of influence so we gradually learn to become causal on our planet. Let us sense this for a moment, really embody it, feel it in our body, that we have this, we grow into this capacity and yeah, grow into this function.
So in our meditation outline in the last while, we are tracing both the vertical and the horizontal lines. Vertically, we built an alignment from the spirit of peace through the Deva of Jerusalem and grounding the high energy through the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. And then we turn horizontal, spreading it, this energy of peace through the etheric body of the planet by connecting the planetary centers. So our vertical line connects the spirit of, of peace with the Temple Mount. So let's just highlight these two points in our consciousness. DK says about the spirit of peace the following. The spirit of peace is hovering close to humanity, seeking opportunity to make his presence felt. The spirit of peace is not an abstract concept, but a potent individual, wielding forces hitherto unfamiliar to our planet. Great forces are awaiting the hour when they can function as the liberators and the deliverers of mankind. But the door to their entrance must be opened by humanity itself, and it will be opened by a united act of the will. And just a word about the Temple Mount. Yes, you can see it here pictorially on our picture on this beautiful painting. It is the little hill in the center of the old city of Jerusalem. And on this hill used to stand the Jewish temple. And now the, it's the site of the Muslim Dome of the Rock. But even before the Jewish temple, this was a holy place for various other ancient cultures. And uh, probably everybody who, who, who is visiting there uh, can feel this very strong energy vortex there that is, seems to be anchored through this hill. And this hill is in Hebrew called Mount Moria. And traditional Jewish sources speak of the foundation stone buried in this hill from which the creation of the world began. And it's a kind of an axis mundi, the center of the world. And the place where the physical and spiritual worlds connect. So it has this tradition of the highest and the lowest meet. So now in meditation, we will have the chance to sense into this vortex and afterwards to share our impressions from it. Today, Greta will lead us. Greta is one of our core group members for many years. So she will lead us in meditation today. Over to you, Greta. Thank you, Uta. Let us prepare for meditation. Withdraw the attention inwards to a place of perfect stillness. Breathing deeply. Grounding in the solidity of the body in the earth, 
in the embrace of the mother of the world. Standing in the energy of Scorpio, poised in the center of our own being, aware of our vertical alignment and aware of our radiance. We hold a 360 degrees awareness. Turning our attention now toward Jerusalem. Becoming aware of a focal point of love and light and spiritual will. Somewhere in the upper part of the aura of Jerusalem. Letting ourselves be drawn to the focal point, this etheric temple, and as we enter, sense its force field of dynamic harmony. taking our places within it. Joining our hearts. Joining our thinking. Standing together as souls in our work for Jerusalem in perfect geometrical order. We are a power station, serene and focused. As a focal point in Jerusalem, we are part of the great grid of spiritual focal points around the planet, each group in their place and function, all telepathically connected through inner unity of intent. a peace commanding presence on our planet. Standing at the midway point between the higher world and Jerusalem below.
taking a brief look downward into the aura of Jerusalem. Connecting now as a unit to the higher co-workers who support and guide the Jerusalem project, human and deva. And feel their presence with us. In their protective aura, we release now all previous thought and we approach in silent receptivity the Deva of Jerusalem, the being which holds the intended design for the city. Tuning higher now, tracing a connection to the spirit of peace, overlighting the city. Tuning into the energy, the quality of the spirit of peace, releasing all else. We take a few moments for this.
gently reassembling now at the midway point between the vertical and the horizontal standing poised as a unit. Visualize an electric current from the spirit of peace coming down to the Deva of Jerusalem. Going into the Temple Mount and through it into the earth. From the spirit of peace to the Deva of Jerusalem, into the Temple Mount and through it into the earth. Holding space for a few moments for this high potency electric alignment. Let peace be.
visualize the electric signal being picked up by the group of best citizens of Jerusalem, who stand as pillars of light in the turmoil. And we stand behind them. See the electric current strengthen and protect them. Like lighthouses, see them broadcast the high signal into their fields of influence. See little Deva builders help weave it into the aura of Jerusalem, unifying, making whole. See the aura of Jerusalem glow with warm golden light. We affirm unity. The souls of all are one and we are one with them. We seek to love, not hate. We seek to serve and not exact due service. We seek to heal, not hurt. Let pain bring due reward of light and love. Let the soul control the outer form and life and all events and bring to light the love which underlies the happenings of the time. Let vision come and insight. Let the future stand revealed. Let inner union demonstrate and outer cleavages be gone. Let love prevail. Let all humans love. Let the spirit of peace be spread abroad. Visualize a golden unifying wave spread out from Jerusalem into Israel. Into Israel, Palestine. Making hearts golden. Lifting minds into unity consciousness. 
see the golden wave spread into the nations of the Middle East, unifying and reordering. Expanding eastwards, qualifying the etheric body of the planet. We visualize a golden band connecting Jer Jerusalem with Darjeeling, tracing the band further from Darjeeling to Tokyo further to New York, to London and Geneva, and back to Jerusalem. Visualize the unifying wave continue to flow throughout the etheric body of the planet as we recite the great invocation in Hebrew, Arabic and English. אשר בדעת אל, ירד האור אל דעת האדם, צרום האור על פני האדמה. מנקודת האהבה אשר בלב האל, תזרום האהבה לבבות אנוש, ישוב מורה עולם על פני האדמה. מן המרכז שבו נודע רצון האל, תנחה תכלית את רצונות אדם, תכלית אותה מורי האנושות יודעים ומשרתים. מן המרכז אשר נקרא המין האנושי, שם תוכנית האהבה והאור ויחתם הפתח אל הרע. יהי רצון, ויחדשו אור, אהבה ועוצמה את התוכנית על פני האדמה. من نقطة الحب في القلب الإلهي ليتسرب الحب إلى قلوب الناس وليرجع السيد الآتي إلى الأرض من المركز الذي تعرف منها إرادة الله لتقود الغاية إرادة الناس البسيطة تلك الغاية التي يدركها المعلمون ويخدمونها من المركز الذي نظن بالجنس البشري لينتج تسمين الحب والنور ويختم على الباب الذي يقيم به الشر ليجدد النور والحب والقوة التسمين على الأرض From the point of light, within the mind of God, let light stream forth into the minds of men. Let light descend on earth. From the point of love, within the heart of God, let love stream forth into the hearts of men. May Christ return to earth.
from the center where the will of God is known. Let purpose guide the little wills of men, the purpose which the masters know and serve. From the center which we call the race of men, let the plan of love and light work out and may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you, friends. Thank you, Greater. Let's open the floor for our sharings of our impressions. This is a heart from Jerusalem. Thank you, Greta, for this beautiful meditation, beautiful space you hold and created for us. Uh, I will share with one impression from the meditation that it felt like there is a very old um, acknowledgement or like they know if we can say know each other the spirit of peace and jerusalem like there is a very very old ancient connection that also uh, in the in the hebrew name Yerushalayim, it's the city of peace um but the like uta like you quote from dk uh, the, the spirit of peace is really willing to cooperate, and but it is for humanity 
I feel all humanity and, and here in Jerusalem uh, to open the door. It was very strong, this uh, meditation. And thank you for sending this electric light and love for the best citizen here. Really hold the willing for peace and justice and good. Thank you. Hi, this is Helen from Jerusalem also. It's kind of uh, hard to express uh, the potency of, uh, of uh, the meditation. Um, I, I, uh, I experienced um, uh, the um, Deva of Jerusalem like a protective being, huge, like a big, uh, a big jellyfish, you know, protecting, uh, protecting the city. And uh, Today that you mentioned, uh, you mentioned the the uh, say the Mount Moria. Um, it's a place. Uh, it, it is well hidden in the earth, and it needs to be protected because uh, because this is this is where. Uh, that's my feeling was that this connection, like I thought said, that has always been um, a connection of Jerusalem and peace. I felt this sharp uh, electrical vertex, it per perfectly balanced in absolutely unaffected by polarity. A first ray, sharp and absolute, piercing the roundness of the second ray and mobilizing both energies uh, on a downward flow, a very accurate downward flow, like the loving wise will of peace and uh, anchoring in this uh, special place of the Temple Mount. Uh, from there, uh, it uh, like uh, got uh, the message and spread horizontally. And I also felt uh, the best citizens here in this uh, uh, in the city, um, holding um, a function, maybe they don't really know that they're holding this function. And we stand behind them. Thank you. Thank you, Greta. Thank you, Uta. Thank you all.
This is Mark in Sarasota. Can you hear me? Yes, Mark. Hello. Hello. Beautiful, beautiful, golden opportunity to be with everyone on this day, uh, especially after a hurricane. And they seem to be everywhere in the world, you know. And so something that I am grateful for is when we we mention that there are many forces of light and love and power now that are activated and many of them are new to the planet, to this universe. And so when we hold a beautiful space like we do in these meditations, um, it's possible to really have a sense of optimism that we are indeed, even though we may not see it clearly yet or feel it, tremendously supported and have a great opportunity for victory worldwide. Jerusalem as one of the great cores and also other countries, other places uh, are have now open arms and can have open arms perhaps even especially the youth to receive the blessings that we've been waiting for. And so on a daily basis, I try to remember that and keep pouring in that light and being receptive. And it's, it is met with the feeling of light and love and power. And I feel like we really produced that tonight. So thank you all. For me, it was also a strong, potent meditation. Many ancient memories came up. Um, and two distinct experiences that I would like to share. One is uh, when we linked with the spirit of peace in Jerusalem. I also had this sense uh, of uh, Efrat, what you said, that uh, it's a very old, ancient connection. And it linked, for me, it linked to the United Nations headquarters in, in New York. The same spirit of peace, the same quality in my experience seems to be hovering over that vortex there and the other thing the great invocations in hebrew arabic and english were today for me a special experience Ifrat, when you started the hebrew it felt like you are standing in this first ray um, vortex and bringing down the energy and then Helen you took it and you made it horizontal in the in the Arabic and then Margot you continued it and made it planet wide that was a beautiful um, wave sequence wave that I hadn't, uh, I hadn't realized uh, this before. Thank you.
This is Margot. The experience was a bit murky at first, and then there was an opening touch at the heart as we aligned and registered the Deva of Jerusalem and then the spirit of peace. As the energy of the spirit of peace was directed down through the Temple Mount into the earth, it was as if there was an aligned rhythmic pulsing downflow. It was almost as it was so aligned, it was like it was it was in a, the, uh, a clear tube almost. But the, the rhythmic pulsing quality of it was what really stood out. And the, as the flow diversified into the best citizens, through the best citizens, I almost smiled because the sense of the elementals were just eagerly standing there, ready to weave and and uh, let's get to work. Let's, let's build this, resurrect this, express this, create this, co-create this. And the substance permeating the field of, of the planet as, as we went from one inlet to the next is, is seemed much more substantial and uh, the, the goldenness of it, but certainly the, the, the substance of it was, was greater in my experience. DK says that we need a united act of the will. Um, we need to be streamlined. So I wonder what can what can help us. So what what's the right procedure to to really unify into one act of will humanity's cry for peace can we as the new group of world servers especially as the esoteric group within it can we act as a focalizer of this cry of humanity to unify this and to direct it towards the spirit of peace, to open the door. What else can we learn? How can we become accurate enough in our procedure so we will actually open this door? And today I had a, a, a few instances during the meditation that we are getting there, that we are fine tuning. I think this vertical alignment is becoming more precise and then also opening it into the horizontal, letting it stream through. It's like we are preparing the pathways for this electrical current. So if there are any ideas, any impulses that any of you have, how to make this work, hmm, I don't know, more precise or what else uh, needs to be done, um, I think it would be very, very important that we share our insights here and and make our tool or our our procedure, our methodology um, as efficient as we can for this task.
my sense of it in this moment, it's Margot again, is the, the vision, the idea that's there will, as we remain aligned, the alignment is just critical. Just the idea of, of the spirit of peace and it, that ancient connection to see that strengthening, to see that strengthening, that alignment of the spirit of peace and the temple mount into the earth and that it will begin to spread more and more out from there. But the alignment, that vertical alignment, seems critical, is critical. Uh, mm. Thank you, thank you, Uta, for this. Did you want to say something, Uta, before I mention? Go ahead. No, please say, Mark. Um, thank you very much for this comment and for the question. It's a great reminder to me also as I strive to be as of much service as I can in this lifetime. I would say that um, pretty much every faith tradition, authentic faith tradition says, first, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all else will be added unto you. And it's so easy for me and I think my friends so, so often this to run into doing more than being and so spending more time in the presence and reaching to fill ourselves with that holy presence the divine creator is one insurance policy for us to to be able to know that we're on the right track and we will be guided and the second with go along with the 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 words alignment is ask, what is the divine plan of God and the masters and the Christ right now? And listen for their guidance. And they're so happy to give it. Someone said to me, Mark, you know, you've been attuned to the masters, but you're not close enough to them. And I said, what? I said, no, but you know what? Shoulder to shoulder, arm to arm, shirt sleeve to shirt sleeve with the masters. So what she meant, and it, it, it worked, it, it is so different. So a closer, closer relationship with the masters, the Christ and the divine plan, and then listening for the guidance uh, goes along very well with Margo's um, uh, sense of the need for alignment. So I just take that, you know, one step down the road to say, the time spent in meditation, prayer in nature, Becoming one with the all is a very good investment. That's it. Thank you. Today is the first day of the United Nations. Actually, October 24th is the day when the UN Charter was signed in 1945 in San Francisco. Right. And yeah, it's interesting that you would have mentioned uh, that uh, recognition of the connection uh, with New York and with the United Nations uh, through the spirit of peace and as, as the same presence. Mm. I think it's a very right question that what you post for us, it's, it's a good question for all of us to reflect on what can bring our will, our group will together on focusing to express peace that all people of all nations want and uh, 
it's a big question that's uh, probably doesn't have the correct answer right away but it's a uh, yeah it's for all of us to hold it but as one as and one as possible answers an answer not the answer but an answer is might be recognizing that in this time in this level of development for humanity war is a crime we have much more advanced instruments now to manage conflicts on this planet and as the fourth ray comes into prominence our ability to solve the conflicts through like in other ways than the war is what is important and so if we could it's one of the ideas that we could focus on that the war is a crime that's yeah. something that could condition our movement forward in spite of all the differences of uh, and interpretations of what's happening, how it's happening in the world. Yeah, this new bottom line, it's really time to supersede this old way mm -hmm. i wanted to underline what margot said that, you know this ancient connection this vertical alignment is there already this ancient pathway for this current of the of the spirit of peace is already there so it seemed to me during today's meditation so to link into this and uh, yeah become more sensitive all these uh, impressions of discovering rediscovering this ancient pathway or grasping that this quality of the spirit of peace is in jerusalem and uh, can be sensed also in this vortex in 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 the un building and uh, surely in other places too so the more we become sensitive to this to this quality the more we can recognize it also when where it is and how to link with it and i'm i'm wondering really what uh, how we can as a as a world group learn a united act of the will um yeah and that's also a question that there's no no ready answer yet There is a, a interesting um, I don't know how to call it story or, or, uh, that uh, I just read yesterday. It's not a story, just a short um, anecdote of a uh, um, disciple talking with the master, and the disciple says, "Oh, it's it's so difficult to be the, a disciple, and there, there are so many." Uh, questions with no answers and the uh, master's response was now difficult to be disciple because there are uh, n n not that many questions that deserve to be answered 
I think this question, Uta, that you posed for us today, it's a question that's really worth to be answered and mm -hmm. reflected. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, for all of us, when we now that we move into the seventh ray more, we will be we will be learning this how to do this. Uh, it must be, Margot, you said a rhythmical pulse. Yes, it must be something rhythmical, a rhythmical planetary uh, ritual that we have we we must come up with that we must agree on. I mean, we do a very good uh, beginning now with uh, having started to focus on the spirit of peace, which happened simultaneously in, in, in several different groups. So that's already a, an encouraging sign. And uh, this whole thing of telepathy um, growing among us is really encouraging and uh, magical, joyful. Yeah, any other impressions, contributions before we close? Well, just the longer that I sit with the idea, with the reality that there is that ancient connection. And, and Helen also mentioned a, 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 an electrical current so that this this is already established and clearing away the the purification of of um of the field holding holding the alignment and asking the questions yes that question uda How can we as a world group learn a united act of the will? Ponder on this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, for me, I can say during this meditation, I really felt we are supported here in our work. There was so much electricity in, in the air. I really had this electric current, uh, current feeling uh, during the meditation. And I agree what you said about uh, an ancient um, connection with the spirit of peace. That's my feeling too. That's just what I want to, to say. And thank you for supporting this work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you, everyone. OK. So all blessings for this upcoming new moon solar eclipse and onwards lots of love <laughs>